Well, my family is different. Um, it's um, without having a father figure in my life, I have to be the man of the house. And um, it's tough. Well, my family, it's, it's kind of a tough question because my mother died at the age of 11. My dad's in jail and I live with my grandmother. It's rough for me because I, I was called a fatherless kid just because my father was supportive. It's me and my mom, actually, since my dad divorced my mom, since he tried to kidnap me when I was in second grade. Well, currently, uh, my parents are getting a divorce, and a lot of the staff are very supporting. Before I was in girls club, I was a bad kid. I went to a behavior correctional school. I was at a really young age for having horrible, bad behavior, temper tantrums, everything else, anger management. My dad died. It was hard to think about anything else. I felt that I wasn't going to make it. In eighth grade year, I thought about committing suicide because I, at that point, I couldn't take it. so long I can't even imagine me without the club. It would be terrible. I would be alone, feel alone. I would feel like there's no one that understands me, no other kids going through this and going through the worst pain. Without it, I probably wouldn't be in high school yet because I am so, I would be so far behind and I probably would be into a lot more fights, into a lot more gang related activities. It made me want to change my way of viewing life in general. Without that, I would still be the, the hopeless young kid I was before I came here. It's the type of place that anyone could fit in, and there's not just one cookie cutter shape, and everyone's going through something, and then you can talk to them about it. There's people that can help you out through anything, it's just like one big safe haven. The Boys and Girls Club is my second home, and I, I'm here Elementary school, I wasn't the best, but now I've improved and now I'm getting straight A's sometimes, getting A's and B's, and I started thinking of them too. When I was about eight years old, I didn't know how to read. I was looking forever to read. I didn't know how. Then one of the staff, I'm sorry, I forgot her name, it's a long, long time ago, but she taught me how to read a book. And then ever since then, I learned how to read, and now I read at a senior level, and I'm only a sophomore. I gained a lot of confidence, and I also made friends with people that I normally didn't really talk to. I actually found myself achieving those goals that I set before, and like achieving things that I've never seen myself do before. I will say that the Boys and Girls Club will impact your life. So that's my goal, is to have little kids look up to me so I can show them what is possible. Keep doing what you're doing, you're making a big difference to everybody. All these kids here who come here, this can be their, their one and only meal a day. It can be the only thing they have. It can be the only thing they actually look forward to. You're really helping us and you're really changing lives here and you're, you're making a difference. So if you support the club, I thank you with all my heart and you guys are a great foundation to what we do here and I really believe in you and I believe in Boys and Girls Club, so thank you very much. Boys and Girls Club is rocking. <laughs> <laughs>